Hey there. In this video, I'm going to share what I believe is an important discovery which I have found during my journey in eyesight improvement. If you're new to the subject of reversing myopia, you might want to have a, a look at my first video on the subject that describes my whole journey and everything I've done, which has reduced my prescription significantly. The eyes have various ways of adapting to circumstances. And when we look at objects at different lengths, there is a focusing mechanism, which is in our lenses at the front, which uses the uh, muscles around that lens to reshape that lens so we can focus in clearly on whatever we wish to see. When you first start your eyesight improvement, you have probably used lenses for so long that this mechanism doesn't work so well. Uh, but you will get better and uh, your eyes will rehabilitate so you can focus uh, with ease. And indeed, with practice, you'll find that you can learn to see things which were previously beyond you. But there's something else that I've noticed happens with prolonged practice. Something beyond the release of a, a spasm in these muscles, beyond the improvement that comes with practicing focusing. Some mechanism which seems to recalibrate the eyes. I believe that this ocular recalibration response is the very process which causes the eyes to change shape in the first place. We have proven that uh, too much close-up work actually makes the eyes reshape, uh, they become maladapted to that specialist task, and too much distance work does the opposite. It, the eyes reshape so that you can see better into the distance. And this specialization which the eyes have uh, gone through can be uh, compounded by the use of lenses, and that makes it uh, terribly exaggerated. I believe that you can trigger this happening on a small scale with persistent work on the edge of your visual ability. This at first happened to me when I was away for a weekend. I spent two whole days just looking into the distance and on the second day in the morning I, I felt something, something change and I could see far better. It was as if uh, my eyes had got the message that it needed uh, to look into the distance for that time and there was a change uh, in response. When I tested the next day my eyes were a little bit better than usual but the, the clarity that I had in the distance wasn't there. I sat for quite some time looking at the chart and went through the normal process of practicing active focus and uh, being able to see what I could see. And after about 25, 30 minutes, it happened again. It was as if some very small change to the shape of the eye, maybe uh, just bringing things a little bit into uh, the correct shape more had happened. As time went on, I started to seek out this, this response. I found that if I triggered it in the morning, if I looked into the distance, I went for a long walk and, and practiced looking into the distance, uh, for about that amount of time, my vision would be better for the whole day. If I could trigger it two or three times, that improved vision would remain into the next day. 
And I started to build on that, making sure that every day uh, this response that came from prolonged looking into the distance would reappear. Now, of course, it's best to do this in interesting ways, to challenge yourself on that train journey, to try to read that uh, sign or to see the distance as you go past, uh, to be uh, looking at that archery target or to be uh, throwing that ball towards uh, the wicket on the field, to be doing something which is fun and outdoors rather than sitting indoors uh, staring at an eye chart. But no matter how you choose to trigger this, it is my firm belief that if you make this happen two or three times a day, you are telling your eyes that it needs to recalibrate its shape. And so the change is very minute. It's that change which is being compounded and changes what's happening on an ongoing basis. In a sense, this is the reverse of all those times where you were staring at a page or a screen and you had to apply willpower to keep going or someone made you keep going because you had some work to do. We are reversing that process. So if you are on a eyesight improvement journey, please try this mechanism. See if you can trigger a marked improvement from a prolonged look into the distance and see if you can build on that over a few days and see if your prescription starts to go down. My name is Martin Fox, and I hope this video was of use to anyone wanting to improve their eyesight and reverse their myopia. Until next time, let's let every word, thought and action count.